Hello Cloud Perceptors, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can locate source IP address in EC2 with Network Load Balancer. So the, the whole idea about this uh, video is to make you understand uh, you know what a client IP address does your application that is running on the EC2 instance is seeing. Okay, so this is the whole setup we are going to do. All right, I have one network load balancer which is pointing to like which has two uh, instances added to its target group. Okay, so I am going to add it as an instance. Okay, so we are we are gonna look at two scenarios. One is you when you add an instance to your target group. The next one is adding IP address. All right, of your instance to those target groups. So in both these scenarios, what what client IP does your application see is what we are gonna look at. Okay, so I'm going to open AWS Management Console. So follow me along with this video. All right, so I'm logged into my AWS Management Console. Um, let me look at the EC2 instance. I have one EC2 instance that is running that we are gonna look uh, use it for our testing purpose. I'll show you the user data that I have added. Okay, so uh, that you can understand. See, I'm just installing uh, HTTPD and uh, just printing out and hello cloud perceptors message. Okay, so that that's the whole purpose behind this. Okay, so let's test the instance first using its public IP address. Okay. It's gonna be HTTP. So since we are able to see the message, it means that our instance is configured properly. Okay. All right. So next is uh, we'll set up our load balancer. Okay. So we'll configure it for network load balancer. Click on create. NLB, I'll just name it as, as a simple NLB over here. Okay, it's gonna be internet facing IPv4. Uh, let me look at what VPC is my instancing. Okay, it's in the default VPC, so that's fine. And it's in AP South 1A. public subnet A. All right, that's fine. So that is the correct subnet. Let's click on only one uh, subnet because we are just going to test it at the moment. Okay, I don't have any target group, so I'll click on the create target group over here. See, you can add uh, instances, IP addresses, Lambda function and application load balancer as well. Okay, so we are going to select the instances over here nlb tg Let's put a short name over here we'll we'll be using tcp port number 80 default vpc and health check protocol is tcp okay all right so this looks good what instance is running? I'll add it in the pending and click on create target group. Okay. We'll do a refresh over here to populate this drop down. Okay. That's it. <clears throat> so these are the prerequisites for creating a load balancer. Okay. It is provisioning at the moment. Okay, meanwhile, I'll just show you the uh, security group. So we have protocol TCP. Okay, and uh, SSH is also enabled. Okay, so 
This looks good. Okay, it will take a while to provision this network load balancer. Meanwhile, I'll pause this video. All right, so uh, it looks like the network load balancer is provisioned now. Let's look at the DNS name. Let's try to access it using DNS name. First, let's look at the targets. If it is showing healthy, yeah, it is showing healthy. Okay, so we, as you can see, we can now access the instance using the network load balancer. So end to end, it is working fine. Our next purpose is to connect to this EC2 instance and find out what client IP address is it able to see. Okay, so I'll connect it, right. Right, so I got some commands already, so I'm just gonna uh, <coughs> run those. So as you can see, I have already configured this file. Okay, let me just show you. Watch it. As you can see, uh, you know, I've configured the log format and I've enabled logs to put it under logs slash access logs folder and uh, the remote IP module is also installed. It also gets the user agent and referrer. Okay. So after uh, creating this file, what I did is I restarted uh, TTPD. Okay. I enabled and restarted it. All right. So let's look, let's uh, do one thing. Let's open this logs and see. Okay, I'll just clear those out and I'll run. Uh, I'll just open up the load balancer URL again. Okay. So I'll put it over here. For Where is the load balancer URL? Okay, so here is the DNS name. I'll execute it. All right, so as you can see, it is printing out this IP address, all right? So this is the public IP address of client, okay? So if you look at my IP address, hang on. So as you can see, I have uh, have this IP address assigned to my client, 223. The last, uh, uh, you know, this uh, 132.89, okay? So let's look at that, 132.89, okay? So this is my IP address. So in Network Load Balancer, whenever you add target group as an instance, you your application will be able to see the client IP address, which is your IP address, okay? So this is how it works. Ne we'll look at the next scenario now where the target group is the IP address. Okay. So let me do one thing. Uh, let me, let me remove this listener over here. Okay. This is the target group. Let me create another target group instead of deleting things to make life easy okay nlb nlb tg ip i'll just put it something like this to be specific <coughs>
okay i'll add the ip address of this instance probably okay let me just look at the ip address the private ip address for this okay we are done now click on create target group so we now have two i uh, two target groups one is pointing to the instance and one is pointing to the ip okay so let me simply edit this edit the listener over here to point it to <coughs> Okay, looks like I got to delete it. Okay, looks like I need to edit the target group here. We'll use the TCP protocol, okay? Because earlier when I created it, I have selected a TDP, which is wrong. <coughs> L check protocol is fine. Next, TG new. I'll put something like this since it is already deleting it. Okay, I'll grab the private IP of this instance. so this looks good include as pending below and click on create target group okay refresh this now now we have this appearing over here click on save changes So it is now active. Let's look at the listener now. The target groups. Okay, it is still the health status is in initial phase, so maybe it is it is currently like uh, initializing. Okay, let's wait for a few minutes. And meanwhile, I'll pause this video. All right, so now <clears throat> the target is healthy. Now let's try to perform a test. I just clear out this console. <clears throat> let's try to access the load balancer using the same NLB DNS IP uh, uh, DNS URL. Okay, I'll do a refresh couple of times. All right, so now as you can see, the IP has got changed, right? Uh, earlier, it was a public IP address of the client when we were using instance, okay, instance as a target. Now, after we are using the private IP of our instance as a target, the client IP has got changed, okay? So let's find out what IP is it. So I'll just copy this IP and I will head it over to network interface. I'll just try to search for NLB over here. We got one NLB. Let's look at the IP address. Okay, I've already copied that, so I'm, I'll just try to find it. So as you can see now, right? It is showing the private IP address of ENI for my network load balancer. So remember, <coughs> whenever you are using IP address as target in your network load balancer, it is going to show you know, the private IP address of your NLB ENI. 
when you are using instance as a target in your network load balancer it will show the ip address of your computer okay computer in terms of ip address of your actual user who is going to access this website so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel see you again in the next video goodbye